Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy, and I help the helpers, the light bringers, and the soulpreneurs of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you, make sure you hit that subscribe button below with the bell so you can get notifications for all the videos that I'm sharing here on the channel. So today I had um, my first massage that in in a long time since before all of this COVID stuff and so I'm really hoping I'm really open spiritually and to receiving messages but I'm also really hoping that I don't still have the lines in my face but if I do I can't tell excuse the lines um, because you know the, the it must go on the videos must go on I, I, I want to make sure that we get to all of these for this month so we are going to dive in to your July 2020 what do you need to know what messages do the angels have for you and how can you best navigate this month now I've been very aware in the past several months that you know shit is hitting the Leo's hard you guys are in a, a really interesting um, time period in your life where I feel like you're taking back your power. You are recognizing what no longer serves you and really being called to the carpet to clear out what needs to clear out and to be um, genuinely and authentically yourself and to honor whatever it is that your genuine and authentic self needs. And um, this is an easy work, and, and I feel like even in this month, I see some things showing up again that's really suggesting that the work continues with this, and that makes sense. You know, this isn't something that we accomplish overnight. This isn't something that we can accomplish immediately, and it's a journey, and, and you really are on this journey, but understand that the journey is taking you to a beautiful destination if you allow it, if you take advantage of these energies that are trying to better your life. And so you, what you want to make sure that you're not doing is numbing, ignoring, um, you know, trying to pretend as though there is no problem when there actually is a problem, when your soul is kind of screaming at you to make a change, do the thing, continue to uh, follow through with the changes that you've already made, that kind of stuff. So um, it's a journey and um, you are being supported. I really feel called to say you know, that you are being very supported on this journey and the angels want me to pass along this message of making sure that you are calling on them for help, that you are asking for help through this journey and it really is as simple as saying out louder in your mind, please help me with with these things that I have going on. Please help me to make this change. Please help this change to be as easy as possible. Please help me to deal with the emotions that I have going on. So asking for help is really, really gonna be key here to just helping you to feel held and carried and supported through this time. So speaking of that, we're going to dive into the overarching themes. And the first card that I have here is the Hermit card, okay? So this is really saying this is a period of self-discovery, self-reflection, and you know this, right? So I think even um, as some parts of the world and, and um, even as things start to open a little bit more and we have more of the ability to go out in public more and interact and be more social, I think um, there is going to be a calling within you to continue to take time and space for yourself to allow for this period of reflection. And, and a good part of this month, we are in Mercury retrograde. We have six planets in retrograde right now. So this is such a time of reflection and um, confusion and um, trying to understand where we're going. And on the other side of these energies is where we find the clarity, but we also have to allow for the process. So allowing yourself to um, allow this period of self-discovery to take time and space in your own energy and to allow yourself to do those things that just let you sort of go into your thoughts and explore. Th those things that help you to feel connected to your intuition, to help you to connect with that knowing and those messages that come through for you or those thoughts that come through for you that show you what to do next or help you to have clarity or peace of mind. The next card that we have here is the King of Earth Reversed. And this for me is about you being dis 
disconnected from your roots, okay? There is a need, there is a calling here to come back to yourself, to really ask yourself, in what ways have I been not myself? In what ways have I allowed myself to be changed by what someone else wanted of me? And, and these ways are... Um, or, or, or these changes are not who I really am inside. They are not authentically me. And where do I need to change that? And where do I need to start to begin to authentically honor myself? This is also about like a part of yourself. Sometimes this is like that inner entrepreneur that's kind of screaming from the inside, like let's get going with this project that we wanna work on or this business that we wanna start or uh, putting these ideas into action. So you may also be finding yourself having those come through and this is really saying making sure that, make sure you honor that, make sure you listen to that because it's important and it's necessary and um, if you can follow through with that and, and continue to follow through with that, there really are a lot of opportunities that can come with that, including, uh, you know, financial reward, but, but other things as well, just feeling fulfilled, feeling successful. And so I really, you're encouraged to honor that part of yourself that's trying to come through as well, but also reconnecting with those roots and reconnecting with the earth. So can you get out as part of this period of self-discovery and connect with the earth? When we are connecting with the earth in some way, this is a powerful conduit for connecting us with our intuitive messages. So can you get out there, reconnect with the earth, have your feet on the earth, go for a hike, just spend some time outside, whatever that is, but, but reconnecting with the earth, really taking time and space to allow for that. The page of Fire Upright is really saying new opportunities are trying to come in for you. And so there is a little bit of an excitement. This is something I think that you can really look forward to. And this can be in regard to work. Fire is often connected with our work or our life's work, just those things that we're putting our time and our energy into in our life. So something new that you're going to focus your time and your energy on, this might be a new job, this might be a new business, this might be... Um, you know, just something new that you're putting your time and your energy into, but I think you're going to be excited about it. And I think that it's going to feel good and positive and uplifting and really balancing for all of the other stuff that you guys have been going through. And, and again, here we have the artist reversed. Okay. So again, this is a message of there's something within you that's wanting to be created, that's really being inspired to be created, but has not been created yet. And um, it, it's really important that we honor that creativity within, that we honor and, and take those ideas from our mind and create them, you know, physically create them here in this world because sometimes that inspiration will come to us and if we ignore that it'll it'll go to someone else you know um, and this is something that is meant to be created by you ideally and so honor that creativity honor that inspiration and um, begin to take action on creating whatever this is whether that again leads to a business or it's just something that's meant to be created meant to be started by you. The next card that we have here is the wolf card and the wolf card is all about independence but working with a group as well. So where can you accept help? Where can you honor that that hermit alone time, but where can you also accept help and accept other people's support on this journey? The next section of cards that we have here are talking about the barriers or the challenges that you might expect here in this month. And so we have the five of air reverse. This is really saying to me, and I, I think this has showed up in your, maybe last month or the month before, you know, there's been some kind of deception here. Somebody hasn't been honest with you or, or you haven't been honest with somebody else. And um, there's a healing that needs to happen here. You know, so if this is somebody who has been dishonest with you, it's really about asking yourself, what do I need to do about this? Like, um, you know, and, and if this person is still in your life, what boundaries do I need to set? Or do I need to clear this person out of my life? You know, is this something that's unforgivable? What were their intentions? Um, do I need to release this person from my life? Or if you are the person who has, you know, been deceptive in some way, how do you, you know, what do you need to do to address that? What do you need to do to help 
everybody to move forward or, or maybe like your motives or intentions weren't the best or maybe somebody else's weren't the best with you and what needs to happen here in order to this to allow this energy to be released and to allow everybody to move forward and oftentimes what's needed is to take a look at what lesson do I need to learn here you know what do I need to learn about myself so that I don't repeat this behavior or this action or what do I need to learn in terms of what I'm allowing in my life or um, do I need to uh, maybe honor my intuitive voice a little bit more, honor my intuition a little bit more without pushing that away? What is the lesson here? Because oftentimes when we understand that, we can release that energy and move forward. And the next card that we have here is the star card reverse. So this is saying to me, you know, I, I think maybe you're not quite sure exactly what the path looks like. Um, you know, and we're all confused about our path on some level, but, but this is like a real confusion about what's next for me, where do I go, and understand like that this is a little bit part of this collective energy, so it's not just you, and this confusion is meant to bring you clarity, and so know that that path will become more clear, or the next steps on the path will become more clear, because I, I find we tend to not get a lot of information way, way far out in the future, but we'll get, you know, those next steps. And so those next steps will become clear. So just trust that that will become clear. But meanwhile, don't let that disconnect you from your light. Don't let that make you feel bad or down, uh, you know, as best you can, because this is about trusting in your higher power that like this is all purposeful and all part of the big picture. The next card that we have here is the ego card reverse. Okay. So I, I feel like your ego has been called to the carpet a little bit over the past several months and you've really had to take a look at some things that you know maybe we're more focused in your ego that we're more I would say like our human versus our soul right those things that were um, maybe actions that weren't serving you maybe changes that you needed to make in your life maybe um, behaving in a way that doesn't feel good to your soul um, you know, maybe self-sabotaging type behaviors, those kind of things. And I feel like you're beginning to understand that and you're working toward releasing that, okay? But I, this is like, there's two parts of yourself battling and um, this is where that is a challenge. But if you can continue to aim higher and work on honoring your soul rather than your ego um, and trusting in your higher power that you're going to be supported, that things are going to work out and, and really trying to aim higher, do better, uh, approach things from a higher vibration, take the high road, that kind of stuff. You know, how can you respond better, do better, be better, be a better human? And um, I think that you're on this journey. I don't think this is just beginning. I think this is something that you've been on. And I do think that you're finding some clarity around those things. So taking a look at where does ego continue to impact you in your life and where are there some changes that need to be made. I think this is part of that self-reflection, self-discovery period that you're going through. The next card that we have here is the mystic card reverse. Okay, so we, you know, one thing that we do as human beings is we do receive human um, intuitive messages, but sometimes we tweak those to fit what it is that we want. And um, we get intuitive messages and our intuitive messages are about what we need, not always what we want. And so we can take those, we can see signs and synchronicities and we can say, oh, this is a sign that I'm supposed to do this. But a part of you knows that that's not quite right. Or a part of you knows that what is being labeled as an intuitive thought, um, or, or something that is being supported or guided by spirit is not really supported or guided by spirit. So I would just ask yourself, like, where are you maybe interpreting your messages that are coming through from an ego-based place rather than a soul-based place? And really explore that. that. That's a great question to ask yourself while you are reflecting. Um, where am I misinterpreting this? Because I want the outcome to be different, but intuitively I know that it's, the real answer is is over here um you know so for example if there is a relationship that on some level you really understand is not in alignment for you this is not your person this is not 
what's best for you. This is not really truly deep down making you happy, but you are afraid to step away from this it's really important that you're not interpreting signs and synchronicities that are supporting this relationship when deep down intuitively you have a real knowing that this isn't quite right for you okay and that's okay to take your time sometimes we need to process that sometimes it's just hard to take that next step but at the end of the day, don't lie to yourself, okay? I think that's a really important message. And then we have the tiger card, and this is all about remembering how magnificent you are, remembering how fabulous you are. And um, like, don't short yourself on what it is that you deserve. Raise your standards with the universe, and the universe will rise to meet them. I think that's really important. So a lot of work around self-confidence and um, self-love. For you guys so the next cards that we have here are talking about the gifts that you might expect throughout this month um, so the first gift that we might expect is connected with the ten of fire okay so the ten of fire is about being really overwhelmed feeling really overworked like your energy is pulled in a bunch of different directions and this is really saying to me that some kind of a, a break is coming in with this okay some kind of a break because like if you keep pushing it at the rate that you are going, you could get physically sick, you could become um, mentally unstable, um, you know, it's just too much. And so the universe will step in, in one way, shape or form and shut that down. Now, sometimes it's better if we recognize that we're being overworked, if we recognize that we're doing too much to choose to manage that ourselves, to choose to pull back a little bit, to choose to say no to more things, to choose to rest, relax, find a little bit more balance, so that the universe doesn't have to do it for us. So I say that as a warning because I think that this is something that is preventable, um, you know, in an effort to, uh, preventable, and, and it, it's an effort to, um, just get you to find balance. That really is the message here. Find a balance in your life. Um, because I see the universe stepping in for people all the time. I've seen, you know, in myself that when I'm not honoring that, when I'm not listening to that, I can actually get sick. I can, um, have like my schedule cleared out where I have all kinds of cancellations, which is really stressful, but it's like the universe is saying like, listen, if you're not gonna honor what you need, we're gonna take care of it for you. So take care of it yourself before the universe steps in. It feels a lot better that way, but if you're recognizing um, having some frustration over some slowdowns that are happening in your life, that's probably the universe stepping in and trying to attempt to bring more balance into your life. And the next card that we have here is the four of earth. Okay, so there is a balance coming in in regard to finances. I do see you finding a balance within uh, with for your money or um, it just being a really solid month for you financially that creates a, a, a foundation to build upon. So financially things feel good. Financially things feel like there's you're finding a stability um, that you're using strategies to balance. If you aren't feeling like you're in that place, this is a really great time to uh, incorporate strategies for managing your money better and things like that because there's a great energy really supporting this getting on track very quickly. The next card that we have here is the Seven of Air, okay? Um, the Seven of Air for me is about you breaking out of a pattern. And we've talked a lot about this in past readings. And I do feel like there is progress being made in regard to stepping off of the ride, you know, getting off of this same way of doing things. So the universe is really acknowledging the progress that's been made, the progress that will be made, so you're going to continue to progress with this. The next card that we have here is the vampire card. Um, and, and again, this is like a depleting Vampire card reverse, a depleting force in your life. And so there's still some stuff that needs to be cleared. What is depleting you? What is literally sucking your energy? Um, you know, where are there energy vampires in your life? And what needs to be addressed in order to help you disconnect from that, in order to help you come back to your own energy and not feel quite so uh, just depleted 
from all of this. And the last card that we have here is the Panda card. And the Panda card is about honoring your true essence, honoring who you really are. So again, it's like coming back to your roots, coming back to who you really are, and also finding a balance in your life. So balance is coming up a lot connecting to your essence, listening to your authentic self is coming up a lot, and these are really, really key for navigating this month. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you wanna learn more about me or about Clarity by Christy, you can check me out at discoveryourawakening.com. I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care, guys.